So how do you know when it's time to get off your blood pressure medication? In this video, I'm gonna tell you. So on my YouTube channel, I make a lot of videos about blood pressure because blood pressure is really a reflection of your overall internal health. When you start becoming unhealthy, your body tries to naturally compensate for it by changing internally. And one of the things that happens is our blood pressure will go up. And it's such an easy thing to check. Even if you don't know what you're doing, you could literally go to the store, buy a blood pressure cuff, slap it on your arm, check your own blood pressure. It's not like checking blood or any type of specific thing that you're looking for that requires special equipment. Blood pressure is one of the easiest things that you can literally check yourself at home. Having said that, let's assume that you are over the age of 50, you're overweight, you don't eat very good, you never exercise, you smoke cigarettes, you drink alcohol way too much, you go to your doctor, your blood pressure is high. The doctor naturally is gonna give you three different medications to control your blood pressure. And what do you know? Next time you go into your doctor's office, your blood pressure numbers are normal. That's fantastic. Ultimate success, one would think. However, we've changed the numbers, but we didn't change the health. You suddenly get the realization that you need to change something. So you start watching YouTube and you start learning and you come across <laughs> Dr. Story's videos on blood pressure and you say, hey, that guy's kind of semi-normal. Maybe I'll start watching and binging on some of his videos. And you started watching all 2,500 of my videos on blood pressure and you're motivated, you're gonna do it. So what do you do? You change your diet, you start exercising, you stop smoking, you stop drinking, and what do you know? All of a sudden you look healthy. You go to the doctor, doctor doesn't want to take you off blood pressure medications. The doctor's opinion is, well, clearly I gave you medications, look at the numbers, the numbers are low, you're not getting off medication for the rest of your life. So that's a problem. Are the numbers a result of the medication or the numbers a result of your health. Now, how do you know when you can go off them? You need to talk to the doctor. You need to have to have the doctor sit down. You, sometimes you can actually do that. Doctor, can I talk to you? Can you sit down? I have a very important concern. And you can let them know, hey, I started eating beets. I started eating spinach. I started eating lean meats. I started eating, maybe you changed your diet to a vegan diet, but you didn't just go vegan, you went whole food, plant-based vegan. But even more so than that, you did intermittent fasting, plant-based vegan diet, or you did carnivore. Whatever the diet you followed, you stuck with it and it worked. And tell the doctor, hey, doc, I changed my diet. When you first started, you were unable to walk even five minutes without huffing and puffing. Your heart was going through the roof. And, you know, two weeks ago, you rode your bike 100 miles in five hours or something like that. If you explain this to the doctor that you made some changes in your lifestyle and you're definitely different and that doctor can see it, then ask the doctor, can I get off these blood pressure medications or can we start to wean myself off to see if it's time to get off the blood pressure medications? Unfortunately, what happens for a lot of people is they get motivated, they watch 2200 videos on blood pressure and they say, I'm gonna do this, when do I get off medications? And the answer is, well, you haven't earned it yet. And that's the whole point. If you go to the doctor and you're 80 pounds overweight, you smoke cigarettes, you eat, you drink alcohol, uh, you don't exercise, and you say to yourself, hey, I wanna change everything about my life, can I get off medication now? The answer is, is generally gonna be no. You're gonna have a problem with uh, trying to get off medications because that doctor realizes that statistically, most people are not successful. Most people, in when they try to change their diet, when they try to exercise, most people are unsuccessful. Statistically, that's just the way it is. And the doctor knows that. And that's why they're not gonna allow you. Now, the second aspect of this 
is do you live in a free country or do you not? It's totally up to you. And can there be a mandate that forces you to take a medication? Hmm. Well, it depends. <laughs> it depends what country you're in, because I know YouTube goes around the world. And what happens in America does not necessarily reflect what's going to happen in your country. So I don't know what country you're from. Can they force you to take medication without your free will or your choice? Let me know in the comments section. I'm just curious where you're from and what your medical system is like. Now here, depending on which medication we're talking about, it's totally up to you. You know, the doctor prescribes the medication, but they don't follow you around or send the police to your house to make sure you take it. Of course, it behooves you to take the medication simply because the doctor is giving you medication hoping to save your life. But if you want to change your lifestyle and see if you can alter your own blood pressure, who's stopping you? It's your choice, or supposedly it is. So really what it boils down to is, when is it time to change and get off medication? The answer is, when you change the internal body and your internal health such that your body does not need to produce a higher blood pressure, as a result. Now this is the important part and I want you to listen real carefully. If you've come this far, I appreciate you for watching this video. I'm gonna put a video down somewhere in a box over here on four foods that actually science has found can reduce your blood pressure in simply a couple of weeks. Watch that video. Let me know what you think about that video in the comment section down there. And if you haven't done so already, I have a tremendous amount of videos on my YouTube channel explaining how to get healthy, how to change your diet, how to change the mental outlook, and do deep breathing exercises, exercises that you can do, what are the most important exercises. So subscribe to my channel. And if you like these types of videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, ask in the comment section down below.